Hello and welcome to Three Daughter TV. I am Vishakha Thakur. You are watching the Coin Monitor. Virtual digital assets or VDA markets plunged on Friday after the U.S. Securities Exchange Commission delayed decisions on six applications for spot Bitcoin ETFs, including from BlackRock and Fidelity. IC15 index of cryptocurrencies was trading down by 4% at 34,050 points. On the economic front, earlier in the week, ADP employment data indicated a significant drop from a projected 371,000 to 177,000. Meanwhile, investors will also be keeping a close eye on monthly US jobs reports, which is likely to shape the path for Federal Reserve policy over the near term, scheduled to be announced later in the day. Analysts predict the non-farm payroll data to drop slightly from the prior number of 187,000 to 170,000. However, if the non-farm payroll numbers come in as expected, it will be the third month in a row that gains have been below 200,000, a clear sign that the US economy is slowing. Earlier during the week, crypto markets were brimming with optimism that was fueled by Grayscale's court victory over SEC. Going forward, the court decision was louder by observers saying that the grayscale victory potentially opens the door for a spot Bitcoin ETF in the US. The broader crypto market mirrored the two leading assets move. The global cryptocurrency market cap was at $1.05 trillion mark, falling 3.5% in the last 24 hours. However, the total trading volumes increased by 36.5% to $38 billion. Interestingly, as part of the monthly release strategy, Ripple, largest blockchain company, released an additional 1 billion XRP from escrow. It enables Ripple to keep XRP liquidity in the cryptocurrency market and encourage companies to use XRP for cross-border transactions. Because of an increase in supply, this lowers the price of XRP. Meanwhile, a New York court classified BTC ETH as commodities while dismissing a proposed class action lawsuit against leading decentralized crypto exchange Uniswap. The ruling to scrap the suit before it goes to trial stated the two defendants of the case were the issuers of scam tokens in question and not Uniswap. U.S. stock futures were higher as investors awaited the release of new U.S. jobs data, future tied to the Dow Jones Industrial Average added 127 points or 0.4 percent, S&P 500 futures also rose 0.3 percent, while Nasdaq 100 futures climbed up 0.2 percent. Bitcoin was trading at $25,990, down by 4.5 percent. Ethereum, the second largest crypto, was down by 3.6 percent, trading at $1,643. BNB was down by 4.3% to trade at $214. Solana Sol was down 4.3% and was trading at $19.8. Next on the list, Cardano's ADA token was down by 2.7% to trade at $0.25. Avalanche AVAX was trading at $10, lower by 4%. Polygon Matic was trading down by 5.8% to trade at $0.54. Doge, the popular meme coin, was trading down by 4% at $0.063 and Shiba Inu was trading down by 2.6%. Ripple's XRP token traded at $0.50, down by 3.5%. Talking about Polkadot, it was down by 5% to trade at $4.3. And now let's move on to our analyst, Mr. Sura Chabla, to get an insight of key factors impacting the cryptocurrency markets. So, important news recently. Uh, as we all know, Bitcoin in the long term is uh, heavily bullish, although we did expect it to fall down to, you know, 20 based on the confidence levels and how the global market are coming. Recently, with Grayscale winning their SEC, uh, it is another positive feather. Uh, many big major institutions are filing for an ETF which means nothing but uh, Bitcoin trading will be institu institutionalized by the likes of player like even uh, JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley and all these bigger banks eventually. That is another positive news in the uh, bullish direction. Okay. Uh, then on the second, we did see Worldcoin as we had discussed in previous videos uh it is moving towards uh down and we did see it come down to 1.2 from an earlier level of 2.2 to 2.5 uh 
then third uh, we spoke about gpu companies they are doing amazingly well we saw akash network pump from their levels of under a dollar to almost 1.4 but we also saw a dump for some reason it was a probably testnet news pump and dump okay uh, do your research disclaimer i am the founder of gpu net and we are also building a decentralized gpu uh, network uh, this also comes from the bigger narrative that compute will become more and more as part of the layer 2 infrastructure today digital asset ownership has been decentralized you can own assets and you don't have to depend on government the next major milestone in this uh, growth of entire blockchain uh, would be compute also coming embedded in your layer 2 infrastructures okay that's where we are headed that's what i believe in and we are building at gpu net thank you thank you so much mr suraj chavla well that's all in the coin monitor this is me vishakha thakur signing off for more such updates related to markets please log on to our website www.weverstv.io or scan the qr code Three Auto TV stay connected with the world of blockchain. Stay up to date with infinite world of NFTs. Come explore and evolve with Three Auto TV in the metaverse. So many coins, so much volatility. Three Auto TV delivers the news that matters.